Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Tips by Anil. So in this video, we will send an email to a group that is DPMO group and the user that are available in this group using MS Flow. Okay, so here uh, we will create a instant cloud flow and manual triggered a flow and SharePoint group members email okay just click on create now here uh, i will add an activity that will be our send http request okay send http request to sharepoint so here uh, this is the api that if you will see the group id is 13 and here we can see api underscore web site groups and this is the 13 and slash users okay so in site address i will provide tips by anil and in the api i will provide this in next what i need to do look here so whenever i will save it okay and i will test it click on manual and test continue for the permission run flow okay so your flow runs successfully all right now if you will see the output of this uh, request then here in the notepad we can see we having D node and under the D node we having results and under the results we having this array okay and in this array we having email addresses okay so we have to append these all email address okay email address second and the third email address yes okay so for that what I need to do I will go and edit this flow click on next and here I will select from the body and that I will select body and in the P code I will copy this okay and here the body okay and here we know that we having output in d node okay so here i will go in d node and again we having results okay so look here we having d node then results okay so the same we having here all right now i will go in my flow and i will go in the expression and output in the output i will paste this okay click on okay now uh here uh, we have to just select expression and in expression items and in the item i will go in document my bad items and in the items I will choose email okay so if you will see here we having this email okay so that email I will choose here okay now I will update it okay now the next step is now we got all the emails in the select statement okay now we have to uh, concatenate all the emails okay so for that uh, uh, 
I will choose compose. Compose. Okay. In the compose, I will go in the expression. In the expression, I will join. And what I will join, I will join the output of the output of select okay and here i will concatenate by semicolon okay because we know uh, uh, our uh, email statement will uh, take the ids email ids in the semicolon okay click on okay now our emails is ready okay now i will send outlook v2 okay send an email v2 okay and here i will choose this add from dynamic content and here in dynamic contents we having output from the compose okay i will choose this test email okay and the body will be test email now i will save it save click on test click on continue it's asking for permission click on run flow run flow to monitor it go to flow run page okay click on done now you can see your flow runs successfully all right now if i will go here you can see i got the test email okay so this email is sent to here if you will see uh, it's sent to Nitesh, Anil and Sunil. So in the group we having three users. Sunil, Nitesh and Anil. Okay. So all three users got the email. Now if you will see the output then here you can see we are getting all three emails ID. Okay. In the select statement. In the compose we are concatenating the inputs. Okay. So if I will copy this and if I will paste it here. you can see the id is going to concatenate okay because this email is always taking id in the concatenate format okay two all right so i hope you like this video and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and i will paste these two lines in my description box okay description of the video thanks for watching my video have a nice day bye bye